Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Freibel alongside Brooks Monaghan and coach the home portion of the season. Regular season now is completed. May have a, a tournament game. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but you come off the uh, kind of not really a short week, but there was a bye in there. So you only had one game last week, got your legs back up under you, and came away with a nice win over Tulsa. Yeah, any win's a good win. Um, you know, Tulsa is a good team. We knew we were going to have our hands full. Uh, you know, it was also a little bit of a trap game in mm -hmm. senior night. And the reason I say that is because it's just so much emotion uh, going through a lot of the kids' heads, you know, in that game and the coaching staff. You, you know, as a, as a coach, you want to see your seniors um, go out on a good note. But, um, you know, I thought that uh, first half of that game we, uh, we played really well. And... Um, you know, we were fortunate to get the one goal and, uh, you know, felt we had some great opportunities to, to uh, you know, score another. And unfortunately, we didn't. Second half, uh, you know, they came out, um, um, Tulsa did, you know, they came out strong, um, you know, and made the game a little bit tougher. You know, we still had some chances in the second half, but, uh, you know, they had a few chances, but... Uh, you know, again, just happy to get the win and move on to the next. You mentioned wanting that second goal. That was a, a game uh, that you controlled for the most part, but you're always Larry. Kind of like that East Carolina game a couple of weeks ago where you're always Larry until you get that second goal that they can get a quick run, come down, tie it up real quick. Yeah, and that's what we were hoping for, to get that second. Um, un unfortunately, we didn't. So, we, you know, um, every, every second of the game mattered. But, um, you know, like I said, any win is a good win, and, uh, you know, we'll take it. Defensively, I thought your defenders uh, were outstanding. You just you never allowed Tulsa to get deep in there and on a consistent basis, get some passing lanes. I know they would go long a couple times. Your defense just never allowed them to develop. Yeah, I know the defense is playing well. I mean, I, the group is playing well. There's, there's good spirits. Um, you know, I think we're we're getting to that point where we're getting close to to you know um, to peaking, mm -hmm. which is is this is the right time to do that as a team. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the group. You know, obviously we played a really tough non-conference schedule, but we did that for a reason to prepare us for conference. And, you know, it's paying off right now. But, again, the past is the past. And, uh, you know, we just have to focus on the next game at hand. Val Sanderson got our goal uh, to, to give you the one nothing lead. It was assisted by Diamond Simpson. And Kaylin Atkins got that 33rd, the record uh, for assists now is hers all alone. Yeah, no, I mean, to have her break the all-time assist record on senior night was a pretty special thing. Um, you know, we were – a player like KK, I mean, you expect – she's got special gifts. And, um, you know, with the season that she had last year, you know, we were expecting her to, to break that record or hoping. And, um, you know, she's done it, and um, hopefully she gains confidence from it. And, you know, they keep coming. Just briefly, uh, what has this group of seniors meant to you? Yeah, no, they're, they're a fantastic group. I mean, from just, just good kids to all the work that they've put in to their, their leadership. And then, you know, as a group, they've, they've been very good leaders um, this year. And it's made it e easy for the younger kids to just uh, follow their path. And, uh, you know, the group's excited. Right now they're looking forward to the next match. And, uh, you know, we're in a good place. But, you know, it's all about – Staying focused, staying humbled, and, um, you know, one task at a time. And that next task is obviously Houston. You mentioned you're in a good place. You mentioned earlier you're starting to peak at the right time. And, and what that means in the standings is you're in second place all alone with two matches left on the road. It is, uh, it's in your players' hands, in your hands now, uh, for the, at least the number two seed uh, before you do that tournament in a few weeks. Yeah, you know, I mean, that was, you know, a week, two weeks into conference season. I mean, we sat down and we said, all right, what's a realistic goal? And, um, you know, we can't control anything but our, our own matches. And, uh, you know, at that time it was to finish second. And, you know, right now we're in a good position, but there's, you know, a lot of soccer left to be played. And, you know, we do kind of control our own destiny. And who knows what happens with – with the other matches, and you know, we we still have a chance that we could finish first. Right. Uh, how realistic is that? I don't know, you know, but that's out of our hands. We can only control ourselves, and you know, and, and the best way to do that is to all focus be on Houston. Let's talk about this uh, Houston Cougar Ball Club. You've got Thursday uh, at Houston, Sunday at SMU. What do you see out of Houston this year? Yeah, you know, Houston is um, is is a team that that doesn't have the greatest record on paper, but they're they're much better than their record. We've got um, they've got a lot of dangerous players. Uh, obviously, we'll be on the road. Any match on the road in this conference is tough, and 
you know, we're going to have to play great soccer to give ourselves a good chance to win that. Of course, you're focused right now on Houston, but looking ahead to SMU, I know they're well, we have a long history of them as well as Houston, but we know SMU has always got a good program. Yeah, I know. They're very talented, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those teams. I mean, both of the teams are – if you slip up at all, they're going to punish you. So you have to um, – you have to be sharp. You have to be sharp. You have to, you have to be focused. Um, you have to take care of your opportunities. You, you know, you can't give up – you can't make, you know, costly errors. Uh, because, again, both these teams will punish you. So, um, you know, I keep – you know, referring to being at our best to give ourselves, you know, a chance to win, and I, I firmly believe that, you know, but we just have to focus on playing our style and and um, uh, and play for 90 minutes. And the reason this weekend is important, as we talked about, that two seed allows you, it's a little bit different format uh, than we've seen in years past. The same <laughs> format you had last year in the American, but you have a chance as a two seed to host a tournament game, but also have two opponents come in and play a couple nights before. Right. So uh, you, yeah, it's you a huge a advantage. Happy I mean, obviously, being at home, you finish in the top four, you're hosting a game, you know. But if you finish in the top two, obviously, that gives you even a, a bigger advantage because, like you said, two teams will play on Friday while you're resting, and you get the winner of that game. So, um, you know, it's this this weekend. It's it's massive for the whole conference yeah. because there's so much riding on it with where the standings are. So. Um, you know, the motivation is right in front of us, and we just had to take care of business. All right, Coach, good luck down in Texas. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Head Coach Brooks Bonigan, I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.